Are you wondering if SEO is worth it for your small business? Uh, maybe you don't even need to pay $3,000 to $10,000 a month just to hire an SEO company. Hey, my name is Francisco. I'm the owner of Planet Marketing, a digital marketing company. We specialize in SEO, Google Ads, Facebook Ads, and remarketing. Today's topic is titled, Is SEO Worth It for a Small Company? Now, before we get to the video, please smash that like button and subscribe to my channel so you can get some useful marketing tips. This channel was made for business owners, marketers, and aspiring business owners. All links will be in the description. All right, right now I'm incognito so that the browser does not uh, remember the history behind of whatever I've searched for. Okay, so I want to make this clear. Um, a lot of companies call me and they want SEO services but in reality, they just need their phone to ring. Okay, so this is gonna depend on the industry that you are in. Some industries are so tough to compete in, it's not even worth it. I mean, it's the travel industry, car insurance, forget it, I don't even touch that those type of industries. Now, realtors, it's almost a, a no-go, um, especially in Google Ads, but let's look at the results here. Now, your results are going to be much different than the results that I'm getting here. Um, I am in a very competitive market. If you are in rural United States, it may be actually kind of easy to uh, compete in some of these industries. Okay, so uh, realtor near me. Every real estate wants, every realtor wants to, uh, basically wants to rank at the top. Um, but this is Google Ads here. All of these say ads, so we're not focused on that part. Um, this is Google Maps. This is not SEO. So f if this, Google Maps has its own algorithm. Actually, there's a nice, uh, a really good article that came out by Backlinko. I'm going to put it in the description. For sure, you got you to gotta read it. You got to print it out, go to a cafe, don't even take your cell phone, and, and then uh, read it as if it's, uh, I don't know, the, the Bible or something. Um, but it talks about the algorithms and everything to get uh, ranking here in Google Maps. So again, that is not SEO. That's local, uh, local, uh, local maps, basically. Okay, so if you own a real estate company, uh, I know that most of you are not even realtors, um, but I just want you to get the concept behind this whole thing. Um, you're going to have to look at the search results, realtor.com. You cannot beat it. Realtor.com. You cannot beat it. Realtor, again, again, forget it. Real, five times, six times in a row, uh-uh, BHA, oh, no way, Berkshire Hathaway, you can't beat um, Warren Buffett, that, that's it, and then maybe they're at the bottom, maybe at the bottom, you can, you might be able to squeeze your way in, but you got Zillow in there, and that's just for this search, Zillow and Trulia and Redfin, forget it, man, I would focus on trying to get the local uh, office into the Google Maps. I wouldn't even bother with SEO, not in this industry. Okay, let's look at San Diego cell phone repair, this keyword search. Now you could do this search in your own, but um, San Diego cell phone repair has an exact match domain. They rank above everything. I've worked with this company. Uh, and then you could see everything here. Uh, we got Yelp, and then we got another Yelp, and then a bunch of other comp local based companies. Okay, Square Trade is an international company or it's, a, it's an insurance company. Um, and then you have a directory cell phone repair, but in this industry for cell phone repair, it's actually okay to do, um, SEO. Now let's go on it, this, this type of company needs to have uh, people walking in the door pretty much, um, moving companies, oh, anybody, any company that sees, uh, the Google local services pop up, you shouldn't even bother with SEO. I run an SEO company. If my money, uh, if I owned a company like a moving company, I wouldn't bother with SEO. Okay. And here's why this part here, the top, these top three, if someone clicks on that, it, you only pay when people call. And that's basically what you want. Pay per call. You're not paid per click, pay per the call. You don't get charged to people click. 
So, and then here comes Google Ads. So Google Ads is actually below uh, Google Local Services. Sometimes people call it Google Guarantee, and I'm gonna show you all that stuff right now. Then you have Google Maps, of course, always strive to get onto here, get good reviews and stuff like that. And look at that Backlinko article. Now, for the organic part, because this, this, the title of this video is, um, is SEO good for small businesses? We got Yelp. It, look, a lot of people don't like Yelp. A lot of business owners hate Yelp. But you can't fight them. They, you got to get at least on the free listing. Okay, and then we have two men in a truck. I know those guys uh, or heard of them. Uh, Angie's List, that's a directory. Uh, Discount Movers, San Diego Moving. These are all local-based companies. So SEO can work for a uh, local-based company, OS Moving. That was used to be one of my clients. Um, all right, let's talk about uh, this part really quick. It's not SEO, but I, there's so many people who call me about this stuff. I might as well look at it. Um, I'll let you guys know about it really quick, 20 seconds. Google Local Services, this is the link. I'll put it in the description. And uh, if you are, who, who qualifies for this? Any of the companies here. So if you see your industry in this list, you should first apply for Google local services before you even pay thousands of dollars into SEO. Again, this is a pay per call. It's not pay per click. Okay, plumber near me, same thing. Let's hop over to motorcycle shipping. This keyword is a nationwide keyword. This uh, this company provides services all around the United States. It's one of my clients. Uh, one of my clients ranks for this keyword. It's actually this guy here. Um, and there are no local search results here. So they rank in number three. One, two, three. And sometimes there's a featured snippet up here. Um, it just depends on where the search query is happening. But all of these companies here, they're all companies that specialize in motorcycle shipping that that's all they do so for this industry yes it's a it's a yes uh, uh, for sure go ahead seo full-on uh, google adwords is freaking expensive but uh we have to use seo as well okay dentist in chula vista chula vista is the neighborhood where i live in it's in san diego uh, it's a suburb of san diego and so yes if there's yeah, Google ads up here, and I would actually focus a lot on um, Google local maps. Again, look at that link that I put about uh, from the article from Backlinko. It's in the description. Okay, dentist, Yelp, 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 Yelp. Hey, is SEO even worth it? Hell no. Well, maybe, I don't know. But you're going to have to compete against Yelp. Why not just join Yelp and get the free version? Yelp is a little different, you know, just if it works or not. I got a, a video on Yelp, but it depends on your target audience. So Jim really shouldn't be paying for it because Yelp, Yelp will show ads out to like 20 miles out or 25 miles out. If you're a plumber or an electrician, get the free one and you may want to consider getting the paid version of Yelp. Anyway, so going down this, you can compete all day long with other local um, uh, dentists. Um, once it's after Yelp, but Yelp pretty much dominates this whole damn thing. Okay, so is SEO worth it? I don't know. It just depends on the industry. You know, um, I'm trying to keep this as unbiased as possible. Maybe you should have a whole marketing plan. SEO can be part of um, the marketing plan. Um, AdWords can be a part of the marketing plan, depending on your industry, wedding industry or something. Maybe even Facebook can be part of your marketing plan. Uh, it depends on your target audience. There is a lot of search intent behind Google. So when people, it doesn't matter what industry, what keywords we had just typed in, whoever does those keywords, they're in the market somewhere, whether they're in the research phase or in the buying stage, ready to come in and get some services or make a purchase. Uh, Facebook is, you know, people basically wasting time and then boom, an ad comes out and maybe they'll interact with it or not. I'm just telling you because I do both. One has intent, search has search intent, well, as uh, uh, purchase intent, whereas Facebook has no no buying intent. You got to convince people to do stuff there uh, to take action. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Is SEO worth it for a small company? That really depends on your industry. 
take a look at your local results. If you do nationwide SEO and you can take on clients anywhere in the United States, you may actually want to uh, get a marketing plan before you call marketing agencies. That way you don't get pricing all over the place. So SEO, I really don't touch it unless it's like a $3,000 a month budget and, and up. It just depends on the industry. Many other industries I don't even bother with. Like if it's a travel agent trying to call me or something, I'm not going to compete with Expedia and uh, Travelocity and Priceline.com and Hotels.com. I don't forget it. You know, so, okay. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please smash that like button and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you ever have uh, questions about getting um, an SEO blueprint in, plan in place, before you start calling a bunch of agencies, just hit me up on my contact form, planetmarketing.com slash contact. And then uh, we could write up a plan for you and then you could go shop it around to a bunch of other SEO companies. Take care, Planet Marketing, Francisco Meza.